Hello, Aaron Sanders, this Agile guy here. And today we will be looking at an alternative to planning poker and some concepts in self-organization. We have a simple exponential scale. These sticky notes are approximately the size of the number on them. The four are sticky, twice as big as the two, and so on. We're going to try to relatively estimate some creatures. But if you look over at the creature list, it's blank. Let's throw some creatures there all the way on the left. I, of course, am going to go with cat. Oh, uh, that's what I was going to do. Oh, beat you to it. Dang it. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll find our cat and dog people this way. Let's see if we can get a few on here. I'm going to grab them off and do a nice column and then align top. They're all piled up now underneath that shrimp sticky note. So when it's your turn, you can either play the top card or you can move one card that's already been played. For sizing, we can't just go with size of animal. Let's go with cute factor. Two is really ugly. Ew. And 16 is very cute. Um, so four and eight would be somewhere in the middle. I'll go and I'll call the next person. You go and call the next person. Shrink here. Hadley. Charlene. Uh, Nada. All right. Amber. Karma. Princess. Is that everybody? I think so. All right. Then that puts me next. Hadley. Charlene. Mm, cute factor, right? Mm. Yeah. Another. Amber? Ooh, cat made to the like, cute side. <laughs> Excellent. Oh. This is self-organization. We have a purpose, a goal. We have some simple rules. Uh, it's pretty tightly constrained, right? You're saying what are simple rules you call on the next person. I use that technique a lot for daily stand-up if we're remote. Instead of one person scrum master saying, okay, Amber, you're next. Whoever's going calls the next person. Keeps everybody on their toes just a little bit more. You never know when you're gonna be called on. All right, now that they're all laid out, let's try it again. You can grab whatever and put it wherever, but let's do it on amount of human interaction. So two would be hardly ever see that creature. 16 would be maybe like man's best friend. Just grab whatever, move it wherever. Opening up the scope of self-organization instead of tightening it to who goes next. Yeah, I guess it depends on where you live because I'm putting hummingbird back because I see them about 20 times every minute out here with at my bird feeder. <laughs> <laughs> I believe and the same it, yeah. with the rabbit. I live in the woods, so I'm putting rabbit back. So how, did, how does that work? You guys yeah. don't see the same animals I see out here. That's okay. If one of them, like if hummingbird kept moving around and I have another one of question mark and those that never settle down, pull into the question mark column and then those are the ones to talk about. All right, there you go. Now, what are these estimates based on each other? So we have factors like cute factor, human interaction. And then when we're estimating them, we're really just doing it relative to each other. And I like doing this sort of estimation visually because we can start to look at, are all the fours bigger than two yet smaller than eight? If you are used to planning poker, this is an alternative. It's called the team estimation game. You can play the top card where you can move one that's already been played and then next person goes. When we do this for estimation, no talking. Talking sometimes gets in the way of collaborating. We wait for all this stuff to settle and then the ones that keep ponging around and wind up in the question mark bucket are the ones that we then talk about and try to settle on the size of. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments how you do, if you do estimation, if you use the team estimation game, and some of the concepts you find useful for self-organization.